hope you can hear me okay. It's um, quite windy here today. It's to be expected in you know, this time of year being autumn and stuff. Um, so we've come down to the National Trust Clavington Down, um, which is part of the Bath skyline. Now the Bath skyline is pretty big. There's Pride Park, there's Salisbury Hill, uh, both of which I've done before. Um, but today we've parked up and um, we're now on our way to walk down to the Elf and Fairy Woods. Um, I've only got one little person with me today. We've got little Felicity. <laughs> She's all wrapped up, ready for the cold wind today. Um, so hopefully, we're going to go find some nice fairy doors. Um, get us out a bit of fresh air, make the most of the dry weather before it turns a bit. Um, so yeah, so hopefully, it'll be a nice little trip and you'll enjoy watching and but still hopefully it will inspire you guys to come out and check it out for yourself as well so i'll see you again soon So the National Trust place um, their own geocaches sometimes on their own land. As you can see here, it says you have found a National Trust geocache, which is great. Um, and normally they have um, lots of good facts. So here we've got some flashcards and I'll go through those in a minute. I won't do that on video, but I'll go through the animals with Flick, see what she knows. <laughs> Look at that little face. And then here's the book oh, book that we'll sign. Oh, Ooh, here we go. So look, um, in these geocaches, they've got animal tracks and poo. So it'll teach you about <laughs> <laughs> tracking them and looking at their poo so you can identify <laughs> animals. And here's the answers. Uh, I guess it should have all been kind of tied up together, but never mind you kind of get the gist um so yeah so we'll sign it and we're gonna i'm gonna go through all these fun facts with felicity now
So we've just left Clarington downwards. Um, we've finished the play area, we've finished the fairy, um, fairy woodland elf area. And now we're going for a little walk um, around the family discovery trail route, which is down a nice path. Um, this kind of loops back around and it should take us back down to the front where we started. Um, it did start raining whilst we were in the woods, but it, we took our chances and held off. It's very windy and I keep getting uh, notifications on my phone from the Met Office saying what it is. Um, I should be more prepared but to be fair when I did look last night on the weather forecast it wasn't due to rain today. Um, but oh well it is what it is. A bit of rain never hurt anyone and it's not like torrential. It's just a bit chilly because I'm out in the open and it's you know strong winds. Um, anyway well, what I wanted to tell you not just about the weather is that um, this family discovery trail does cross through several fields. I mean, it's all flat terrain, but in this type of year, this time of year, sorry, and in these weathers, um, the fields can get a bit muddy. So if you are coming here with push chairs or a wheelchair, uh, it's something just to kind of bear in mind. I'd, I don't know how, I mean, obviously it's down to personal user uh, with the push chair and wheelchair. Um, how much access you can get around with your wheels um, but it's just something to bear in mind I will stick the map that we're using the Family Trail National Trust map on the end of this video so you can get, kind of get an idea of route um, the main path itself before it kind of comes back around loops round does come up to a main road so you could always walk up to the main road and backtrack or go around the outskirts but it's personal choice, personal decision, um, but I'd, you know, I, I would hate for somebody to watch my videos and think, oh, that looks like a really good walk, and then actually discover that it's not as accessible as it is for someone on foot. I mean, I'm okay because my little one, she, she can walk everywhere. But yeah, we'll carry on the walk now, though. So here we go. There we go. That was our walk around um, Claventon Down, uh, part of the Spa skyline here, and um, we got lucky. The rain stopped, so we got to dry pretty quickly, considering how cold it is. Um, yeah, so we're about to head back through, finish off the circular route that we just did, um, head back to the car, and go home. So I hope you enjoyed it and um, come and check it out for yourself. I mean, if you do come out during autumn and winter, wrap up warm uh, because it's just all out in the open. But if not, springtime and summertime, I bet it's probably beautiful up here. I bet really busy too. Um, 
but yeah so come check it out for yourself it's a beautiful beautiful place especially with all the autumn colors out here so there we go